Historically speaking, interceptors are a type of fighter aircraft designed specifically to counter enemy bombers and reconnaissance aircraft. There are two general classes of interceptor, light fighters operated over a short range, and heavy fighters, which can be used in adverse weather conditions and over longer ranges. Today we are talking about the best interceptors available in War Thunder. We start with the Japanese J1N1. Its flying characteristics are nothing short of excellent for its battle rating. Thanks to its two contra-rotating radial engines, the aircraft can climb, chase enemies, or shake off pursuers with equal ease. At the same time, its well-designed flaps help with plane maneuverability, making it very agile. The J1N1 is armed with a 20mm cannon and a couple of machine guns. You don't get much ammo, but it's more than enough to deal with even the sturdiest bombers out there. The next aircraft was also designed in Japan. This is the KI-102 Otsu, a classic Japanese twin-engine interceptor. It has a good climb rate and a decent max speed, but the main selling point of this particular bird is its firepower. It's equipped with a 57mm cannon that has a slow fire rate, but whether you fire slowly or not hardly ever matters when you get HE rounds that are this powerful. Just keep in mind that the gun also lacks velocity, which makes it tricky to use against fast-moving targets. But that's what your two additional 20mm cannons are for. The KI-102 Otsu is ready for everything. Then we have two variants of the P-38, the P-38J and the P-38L. Like most other twin-engine interceptors, this aircraft has high flutter speed, but it's also equipped with good flaps, making it a decent turn fighter. Furthermore, it's heavily armed and well protected. The P-38 hardly ever catches fire and can make it back to base after sustaining serious damage, even with one engine out. Next up is the TA-152H1, a German single-engine interceptor. First of all, this aircraft has a very impressive armor arrangement with 15 millimeters of steel protecting the engine, 70 millimeters of bulletproof glass protecting the pilot, and you also get an armored pilot seat, and there's even an armor plate under the seat as well. The TA-152 won't win any awards for its climb rate, but it spawns in the air, so no problems there. And when operating at low altitudes, it's more agile than certain fighters. The interceptor is armed with two 20mm MG-151 cannons, one under each wing, and a powerful 30mm MK-108 cannon mounted in the nose. The latter doesn't have the best ballistic performance, but overall the TA-152H1 has a very well-rounded set of weapons. We made it to the top three, and the first aircraft waiting for us here is the Hornet Mark III, a British twin-engine interceptor and one of the fastest aircraft of the type. Not only does it spawn right in the air, it also climbs like a champion. The interceptor is armed with four 20mm Hispano cannons mounted in the nose, which are pretty easy to use against distant targets if you spend some time getting used to their ballistics. Furthermore, the Hornet has access to useful payload options like being able to carry four RP-3 rockets as well as two 1,000-pound bombs to raise hell on the ground. The silver goes to the XP-50, an American premium interceptor. One of its main selling points is the fact that it uses two 20mm cannons mounted in the nodes. With this kind of firepower at its disposal, the XP-50 makes short work of enemy bombers and fighters. But don't forget that it has a relatively low ammo count. When it comes to flying characteristics, this American bird is no slouch either. It has a great rate of climb, it handles really well at low speeds, and it has a good dive speed as well. Finally, the gold goes to the legendary F-82E Twin Mustang. It's sturdy, fast, and hard-hitting. Six high-caliber, quick-firing Browning M3 machine guns are a force to be reckoned with, and that's without even mentioning the option to equip this aircraft with eight more M2 machine guns. The F-82E isn't the most maneuverable interceptor out there, let's put it that way, but if you climb right at the start of the match, there isn't much that anyone can do to stop you from tearing enemy bombers in half and obliterating enemy fighters in head-on engagements. That's it for today. But what are your favorite interceptors? Maybe there was something we missed. Tell us in the comments below.